I can't go put it back on. <laughs> Oh. 
about your nephew, I really don't think I'm qualified. Oh, no worries at all, as I said. I just want you to tell him your honest opinion. But you've already said he has ignored his parents' suggestions. What makes you think he would listen to me? You're perfect. He worships European architecture. Even yesterday, he showed me endless photos and talked about Godfrey Bohm, Mies van der Rohe, and Bruno Tau. I wish I were one of them, but unfortunately, I have never won a single award, much less been featured in a magazine. Fame doesn't matter. You studied architecture, built homes, and gotten a lot of brutal criticism. Now you had to leave your country to continue your work. Your struggles and experience can't be any different than me, Mandaro, or Bruno Tote. And don't forget the profound sense of regret. Right. Actually, I heard that Bruno Tote has also recently escaped to Japan. Oh, that's him. Do you know him? Come here. Let me introduce you to a guest professor. Bruno Tote. What? what? <laughs> Nice to, to meet, meet you. you. I, I, I. Uh, um. Well, oh, oh, nice to, to meet you, Mr. Yamasaki. I moved from Germany, Germany last week, and now I'm teaching architecture at Kyoto College. Oh, why, why didn't you tell me about him? him? I can't officially work at the college because I've escaped from Germany, so I would appreciate that everyone, including Sunetsan, uh, keeps it secret. But also, I'm glad to meet you. Tsunetsan said that you're interested in architecture. Yes, I am. Sorry, I'm overwhelmed by this, this miracle. Take it easy, please. Have a seat. Are you working on some projects here? Uh, yes. Can I see them? Oh, maybe no, no. Don't be so nosy. Sorry, it's a secret project. Three green teas, please. Oh, actually, I'll take a coffee. Oh, uh... This cafe doesn't serve such a bitter elixir. Seriously? Fine. Two green teas and one bitter green tea. So, are you studying architecture in the United States? Yes, I am. I've learned how to create blueprints, and I've read every book about structural architecture in college. Plus, I'm great at sketching, and I have all the famous American and Western designs right here in my head. Right here. And I draw them all in my sleeve. I would be so happy if you would teach me architecture or <clears throat> I would be more than happy if you would make me your assistant. <laughs> Minoru, you really are American! <laughs> Slow down! <laughs> so, Mr. Tao, um, would you mind uh, if you give my little nephew a chance to be your assistant? Unfortunately, there are as many people dying to be my assistant as there are delicious pieces of sashimi in all the food stands of Kyoto. And I almost always turn them down. The assistants, man. I'm no ordinary Japanese man. I know Western architecture at the back of my hand. All right. If you say so, show me your design. Right away, sir. This is a New York style design after the wool. Because a gimmick by a mimic never carries art. Call me rude, but I conclude that you're not ready to build your art. <laughs> Look, if Kyoto is full of cheap imitations of Western buildings, you're not ready yet. You won't get anywhere with that pouty face. It baffles my mind that you sketch in disguise. Why are you afraid of drawing from your soul? You're too scared, and you're not prepared, so you're not ready to set your goal. I mean no harm and no offense, but you'll soon see in a few years hence. Being an architect won't help you bloom. It's a long, hard road that only leads to Clients will make a 
slave out of you. Your family will pack up and give up on you too. No one will remember your name. You'll get all of the solitude and none of the fame. So, just forget those dreams. Cause though they can make you feel as high as the sky, soon the pain will come and then you'll die. Forget that fuzzy future, put your feet on the ground. Even your parents pray, can't you hear them say? You'll never be ready. Please come around. Sayonara. Bruno Tal for you. So, you better forget about the photo book and being an architect, shikatakanai. No, Obatune, this is a test. He's teaching me a lesson. Uh, American education has obviously made you overly optimistic. Uh, I'm going next door to call your parents. To finish your green tea, maybe it will help you remember the humility encoded in your Japanese genes. I brought my own coffee. Minoto takes instant coffee powder from his pocket and put it, puts it and milk in a cup. This would be called matcha latte. Uh, I Minoro stop, starts poring over his photo book and sketches. Mr. Tout wants to wants me to prove how serious I am. Well, there's only one way to find out. Oh, I better not waste this opportunity. How can I? Oh. Calm down. I'm sure I can find the way. After all, I'm Nori Yamasaki, who has always found a way to move forward. Even when I dropped out of college and got dumped by my girlfriend after just one day, or when I was stuck in a cannery for an entire summer, that's because my photo book is always beside me. This photo book made my wish come true. The moment I turned the cover, I fell in love with profiles of towers that highlight the skies above. It blew away the gloomy cloud from my mind. My heart belongs to the epic works that the legends designed. The photo book where my courage grows Make me prove my talent despite my face. People will gaze at my blueprints and my buildings instead of my face. Even with my Japanese eyes, they won't mind. Because I've traced the epic works that the legends designed. When I become a great architect, life will be lived more beautifully. Delicately and meaningfully. No more apartments that feel like a prison cell. No more bed bugs that make my ankles swell. No more fish factories and that disgusting smell. So I draw the same lines the legends drew. But I have understood. Could I close the book for good? My hands are shivering. Is it because I'm scared? Or because I'm actually prepared to draw my own designs? I guess that's the place to start. 
It finds my lines and arches to rewrite my fate. I'll show my new sense of beauty through what I'll perfectly create. Splendor, wonder, fame, and fortune will be mine. Someday the world will be inspired by my buildings, my decorations, and the glory. Architecture photo book. You speak English. I'm American. Really? You're American? I'm Toki. Toki Izumi. What's your name? Tom? Thomas? Tommy? John? No, Johnny? No, no. My name is Minoru. That sounds very Japanese. Is the name Minoru common in America as well? My parents were born in Japan and they gave me a Japanese name. Interesting. I'm studying English, and on Mondays, I make myself speak only English. This is my first time meeting a native speaker. I didn't realize there were people like you in this small town. If it's okay, could we chat for a bit? I'm sorry, I'm busy. Did you draw these designs? Don't touch them! You're an architecto. You mean architect? Sounds so English. Could you say that again? Architect. Architect. Fine. Sounds as good as the way my parents would say it. <laughs> You're such a great teacher. And why do you have a picture of my garden? Mr. Tout left it. Is he working on your garden? Are you talking about Mr. Tao? I'm looking for him. No, it's Tout. Not Tao. Tout. Are you walking with Mr. Tout? <laughs> well, not yet. Not yet. That means you will work with him. No, you're not wrong. You're American and you're going to be Mr. Tout's assistant. Maybe this omamori guided me to you. What are you talking about? Omamori, a lucky charm. My mother left me this one. She said, it will give me courage and lead me where I need to go. And now I've met you. Are you aiming for the position of Tout's assistant as well? No. I want him to stop the construction project. Excuse me? And I need you to persuade him with me, or my garden will be destroyed. Why do you think so? My father wants Mr. Tao to build a guest house for foreign visitors right on top of the garden. Why don't you ask about this with your parents instead of asking me? I can't. Speaking my thoughts to my father is much more difficult than speaking English. I haven't even told him that for the past 18 years. I hate mushrooms. <laughs> You're lucky to have a legendary architect designing a building on your property. But the garden has my memories. Could you help me think of ways to convince Mr. Tao to stop the project? I really don't know what you're talking about. A garden doesn't store your memories, it's just a garden. But don't fret, when you see the next guest house, when you see the new guest house, you'll forget you even cared. How can you be so sure? Because I know architecture very well. But I know the garden and the construction project better than you do. Yes, that's true. You do know about the construction site and your father's ideas. So, you'll help me? I have an idea. No, well, first take me to the site. Okay. Yeah, okay. And then tell me every detail about the project. Think of it as an uh, English conversation exercise. Oh, sounds good. Then I'll design the guest house for you. Why? Listen, I promise I'll protect your cherished memories. I propose my new, I'll propose my new ideas to Mr. Tout. As soon as I'm sure he'll recognize my talents and accept it, it's a win-win. It's a win-win for both of us. That's not what I'm asking for. I don't want any construction. 
Don't you know that Bruno Taut is a legend? He rarely approves proposals. You should be so lucky. There should be a special reason for him to design your garden. Or perhaps your father has already paid him. Do you think Mr. Tout is going to abandon the project just because a girl in a kimono showed up? We need to present him with an alternative plan. Uh, could you speak more slowly? I said, my design will solve all your problems. Just follow me. <laughs> Why are you so confident? Why shouldn't I be? How can you believe in yourself so blindly? Because this is my omamori. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> Come this way. Minoru and Toki are en route to the construction site. Toki is walking while reading the photo book and is about to bang into the telephone pole. Minoru grabs Toki's collar to stop her from colliding. Look up, or you're going to get us lost. I can't, I can't stop looking at these skyscrapers. Skyscrapers. What's the difference? That sounds totally different. Really? <laughs> really. Ugh. Yeah, you learn English much more quickly by speaking it rather than just reading textbooks. At least that's what my dad told me. I learned English from my father, so my pronunciation is not as good as yours. Your father teaches English? Until a few years ago, yes. But suddenly, he told me not to speak English anymore. Why? He's a diplomat, so he's overly sensitive to the global circumstances. Minoru grabs the photo book, looks at it, and hands it back to Toki. Here, you can have it. Are you sure? Yeah, I'll learn architecture more quickly by actually designing rather than gazing. So, you want to be like this old bearded white guy? Why not? I must speak English with you more. Maybe tomorrow and the day after. Why do you want to become so proficient in English? It's not necessary in Japan. It's weird, but... It feels easier to speak what I think in English than in my mother tongue. Why do you feel why do you find difficulty in speaking your thoughts? Because I'm young, I'm a girl, I haven't gone to a school. There are tons of reasons. Now you can say anything in English. All right. Can I tell you my dream? Someday I want to go to this gorgeous tower and I see how people live inside of it. This is an office building, so maybe... Don't tell me! Let me imagine it. I hear a beautiful jazz ballad at the entrance, and I see a lady in a long sparkling dress and a gentleman in a luxurious black tuxedo eating big juicy hamburgers and chocolate truffles. <laughs> and after dinner, they dance. They dance in these towers? Toki, how would you like to have a dance hall in your garden? Yes! No. My father would never allow it. Why don't you ask him? Japanese women must be polite, quiet, and submissive. We bow, we nod, we never dance, and we definitely never eat chocolate. But if I were American, I might dance around the tower Short, flowy skirt and high heels. My life is so limited. Minoru grabs Toki's arm to start dancing, but Toki is startled and shakes his arm off. Whoa, what are you doing? <laughs> you can dance, no matter who you are. No, I can't. Why not? Because, because I'm wearing a kimono, can't kick or jump. You don't need to jump. And I wear, get that, not loafers like you. Take those off. The streets here are cleaner than the streets back in Seattle. Why did they become suspicious of us? Or judge my dance skills, or... What if my father finds me? And what if you enjoy dancing with me? Dancing with you? Point your toes, touch the floor, make a sound, then give them more. Take off your shoes, there's no time to lose. You'll feel the rhythm if you take your step. Stop it, that woman is looking at us. <laughs> what others feel, what others say. Who cares, don't change your way. Ditch the sleeve, it's time to believe. You'll never find your way if you don't take your step. 
don't make yourself steely. Just live your life freely. Don't be scared to let your heart beat. Let your courage guide your feet. Point my toes, feel the floor, twist and shout, shake and no. Uh, don't try to be wise. Now look in my eyes. Your heart's beginning to take a step. sits in the corner of the room. A long kakejiku hanging scroll decorates a wall. Four translucent shoji screens are inlaid in another wall. Toki begins preparing a tea ceremony. What are we doing? Please make yourself at home and enjoy sado. What? Tea ceremony. Oh, Toki, I'm not here for tea. I need to start measuring the garden. How will you start designing without listening to the harmonies around the garden? Harmonies? I have a responsibility to explain the spirits and culture that live in this garden. So, before anyone starts working, you must have a moment to yourself with some tea. Ugh. Once again, I am not a tea person. And why not? It doesn't suit my taste. Have you ever been to a tea ceremony? No, never. Great! It will be my pleasure to host your very first Japanese sado. I don't need one! Please, Toki, it will be nothing more than a waste of our time. It is because you are American and you can't possibly understand the value of Japanese culture? Correct. I'm not familiar with such sensitive spiritual things. I see. So you can't even enjoy a nice bit of green tea. Well, Toki hands me Naru the vase with the lotus flowers in it. Look! The lotus has started blooming today. The lotus flower? My mother was a gardener. When I was a girl, we made this secret tea room. It became our ritual to have a secret tea ceremony every summer, viewing lotus flower. So, this is the memory you want to protect? Yes, one of my memories. Why does your father want a guest house here? He's a journalist. Sometimes Germans, Italians, Dutch, and other Westerners visit my father. So he needs a place to have his meetings and for them to lodge. He has asked Mr. Tao to design a house like this. Toki hands him a magazine clipping. It looks colonial. Oh, I've seen a few similar houses in Kyoto. I can keep this small shed designing a new colonial house. But it would be meaningless if the tea house just sat here with no garden around it. Why is that? This room isn't complete with just this building. Open the show screen. Of course it is. What are you talking about? Minoru-san, please go over there and open the show screen. Here. Toki nods. When Minoru opens the show screen, they can see the beautiful garden. He starts listening to the sound of the wind and the leaves, and the wind makes small waves in the pond. Toki sits up straight to get ready for the ceremony. You're right, Toki. It's like the garden has entered this very room. So, Toki puts matcha powder in a cup and pours hot water from the pot into the cup. Toki hands Minoru a cup of tea. He bows and drinks. Intensifies his art making. 
home now and get ready for dinner. Do you know your way home? Oh, but Sune forgot about her. Pardon? Yeah, but I have to go right now or she'll file a missing person report about me. If you're looking for the cafe, turn right and then left at the third corner. Should we speak Japanese tomorrow? I guess another day of English couldn't hurt. The Izumi residence. In the living room stands a table and a Buddhist altar with Toki's mother's photo at the center of the living room. She sits in front of the altar and starts burning incense. Okasama, I borrowed this book from a guy. He's from America. Look, there's tall architecture I've never seen. I learned that English speakers say architecture, not architecture. He's very funny. Toki hears the sound of a door opening, then shoves the photo book under the newspaper on the table in a hurry. Okaeri nasai. Tadaima. Toki receives Katsuji's short coat. Katsuji hands Toki a kimono wrapped in white paper, the inside of which cannot be seen. Kore wa... Soko ni kake nasai. Mada yuhan no shitaku ga dekite inai desu. Ii mono wa kate kitana. Katsuji reveals a small box of tempura. Toki receives it. Hasegawa no tempura? Tomoroko shiten wa? Toki begins to put the tempura on the plate. Mochiron, sore nai, shiitake mo. Mushrooms. Nani, nani ka yukta ka? Nani mo. So da, otousama, kore o mite. Mo, kono kitsu da kisetsu ka. Okaasama ga okutte kuretan da wa. Dondon kiyo ni nite kita na. So desu ka? Mo, sono toshi ni natte shimata no ka. Toki puts a lotus flower in the vase. Toki, sono hana hamo sutenasai. Katsuji moves the lotus flower away from his sight. Doshite. Asate kata kara kobe ni kunda. Eh? Misita mo ga aru. Katsuji, excited to present his gift, takes off the kimono wrapping paper, revealing a beautiful kimono. Kyo ga kita kimono da. Wedding kimono? Odorita daro. Kekon ka kimatanda. Toki turns to look at the photo book, picks it up discreetly, and holds it tightly. Otosama, watashi wa. I don't like mushrooms. Nandate? You don't know who I really am. Ego di hanas no no ha ya menasai. I want to choose my own way. Please let me go, it's not dangerous. Who made you like this? Mother, my mother, but she was too nice for stubborn father. Who made you like this? Mother, your mother. I've been naive just like her daughter. This is getting out of hand. She will never understand. If mother were here, she'd stand by my side. What's this? You're reading an American book? You used to read English books to me. You know how I love them. need to know they think they're on top and we below who presents this worthless trash to you you lose your grace at the turn of the page how shameful for a girl of your age this is what my daughter hopes to do don't let me down i know what's best for you Just a 
Selfish. Otto-sama, I want to be the one to decide my own marriage. I will never allow that. You're rebellious because of this book. He tears up the photo book. Yeah, made her like this. Mother, my her mother. mother. What should I do about her daughter? Who made her like this? Mother, my mother. mother. We'll fall apart The tension's high It hurts my heart If mother were here She'd stand between us We're leaving in three days Who made me like this? It's me I've never believed in my own power My teardrops fall so fast I look like my dearest mother Well, if that's true Then I could trust my thought It's like making green tea And father would finally Cafe Moga. Theo and Katsuji are sitting at the same table having a business meeting. Minoru and Toki enter, take notice, and take a seat further away from Theo. Toki hides her face from the menu. This is not, this design is not what I requested. But if we build a bigger house, it will ruin the surrounding environment. Think of it like the Palace of Versailles in front of, the, in front of Mount Fuji. That's my decision to make, not yours. Why would you want to trample on such a beautiful garden? We don't need the garden anymore. That's not true. Any guest visiting this house would be so impressed by the beauty of the garden. Especially when they see the lotus pond from beyond the lobby. They would fall in love with the garden. It would be great for business. Look, I'll just go and find another architect. Uh, excuse me, sir. I agree with Mr. Tao that the garden should be kept. Minoru, what are you doing? I apologize for my foolish nephew causing trouble. Uh, he's just arrived from America. He lacks manners. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I'm glad to meet an American boy. How do you know about my garden? Well, I was curious to see what the construction site was like because I heard that Bruno Tao was working on the architecture there. Bruno Tao? Is the famous architect working on my garden? Oh, sorry, he's just a bit jet lagged. Isn't he Bruno Taut? Him? He's Tio Albert. Right? Yes, sir, that's correct. <laughs> Excuse me? I'm busy. I don't have time to chat with fake architects. Katsuji throws money on the desk. Take it, and it's done. If you go near that garden again, I'll throw you on the first boat back to America. Otto-sama, so nafuni wa nai de. Toki, koko de na nani shiteru? Minoru-san wa tashi no tame ni atarashii guest house o kangaete kureta n desu. Yari koitsu o ga omai ni iran koto o ashiete n tano ka. Iya nai koto de wa arimasen. I designed a house for your garden. Interesting. Show it to me. Minoru hands his sketchbook to Katsuji. Katsuji looks at it and puts it on the table. <laughs> Do you want a gold star? <sighs> We're going home to get ready for your wedding. We only have one day to leave. We're leaving the day after tomorrow. Parents just want to take care of their children. <laughs> Who are you, anyway? I'm Theo Albert, a more affordable and friendly architect than Bruno Taut. <laughs> Did you know this? 
Yes, I did. Why would you deceive me like this? But Tsune-san was worried about you. You're worried about me? You would have never been interested in architecture if I had never shown you those magazines. And I have a responsibility to make you face reality. What does that mean? Uh, Tao-san said has struggled for many years as an architect, both in Japan and in Germany. Think about it. It would be even harder for you to become an architect in America. Is that because I'm Japanese? You sound just like my parents. Did they put you up to this? They want you to be happy. Designing architecture makes me happy. Then why are you in a bad mood right now? Is it because I lied about my name? No, it's not, right? Architects who create the renowned architecture you're dreaming of are few and far between. It's not something you can just achieve through perseverance alone. Look at me. I've studied diligently. I've made proposals to clients with all my heart. But I could never be like Bruno Tout. Now, I've lost projects and I'm a nobody. It's even hard to say I'm an architect. Architecture is not the only real career in the world. You could be a dentist or an accountant or something more practical. You know nothing. Your design held nothing special about you. I'm learning. No, Minoru, that's not something to search for. If you're special, it should already be there. It's not about skills or experience. I assumed you had a strong conviction to be an architect because you came all the way to Japan. So your life, your voice, and your vulnerability should have been emerging in your designs even more. But unfortunately, I talk too much. What's wrong with my life? I left all my past behind in Seattle. I came here only to create something beautiful. I have to be an architect. This is the design I sketched yesterday. Couldn't you tell me what's missing? You said you wanted to create something beautiful. If not, I might as well go back to the cannery. Cannery? You would never know about the life of a Japanese American in a cannery. Of course I would, but is that what you're hiding behind your beautiful design? I'll show you. Slave away our visions hazy, salmon sticks to drive you crazy. Beyond the sea, we've arrived at the filthy factory. Sweep the floor and sweep away our sorrows, scrub the walls and make a bright tomorrow. all the way back to China or Japan or wherever you washed in from. Oh Japan, he performed a thousand operations. Now he pulls the guts and drops the bones at the station. It's a bitter, ugly life, but it's better than no job. In our youth, we had passion and power. Life will be lived more beautifully, delicately, and meaningfully. Why 
as a young lady. You said any you said you'd hire anyone. You're right. Well, I have another position in mind for you. I'm fine doing this job here. Are you sure? The job I'm talking about is much easier, makes much more money. Just come up to my office. Stop it, please! You little slut. I had to knock you out and put you to sleep right here in the garbage with the fish. Right where you belong. Enough! Three hours of sleep every night and this is how you treat us? What is your problem, sir? Three hours of sleep? No kidding. It seems you have enough time to draw your dream castle on company time. In that case, everyone's workload is doubled. And thanks to the young disrespectful artist Dreamer over there, no one is allowed to leave their station until work is done. The boss stomps on the sketch. Working in a dump like this. Is this my life? Why is this my life? They said it is what it is, but it isn't really what it is. Am I supposed to live this life forever? writing a letter. What are you writing? Are those letters? Why are you speaking Japanese today? Minoru takes a few papers that Toki tried to hide. Let me show you just how good I am at understanding Japanese and translating English. <clears throat> I am sorry, but you talk too loud and too much, and I'm not interested in spending time with you. I'm sorry, but you're a messy eater. I couldn't possibly imagine having dinner with you one night, let alone every night. I'm sorry, but I feel nothing special between us, certainly not enough to spend the rest of my life with you. Huh, he sounds awful. Why do you like him? Are you going to marry a total stranger? Hi, Nanika. But how will you say I like you to a stranger? Anata ga suki desu. Anata ga suki desu. It's clear that you're lying. Ii desu. My design disappointed you, didn't it? No, 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 no. Ie, chigaimasu. You don't have to translate, I understand. Sore de, koko ni irashita no wa nani ka yo desu ka? I need your help. You don't need to do anything. Just sit next to me while I make the design. I want to be with you. You're leaving tomorrow, right? Don't go. I said I have to go. I said you don't have to translate. <laughs> You're a selfish ego maniac. I was enjoying my life in my own way. Don't confuse me, okay, Mr. Architect? Your English is getting really good, really fast. <laughs> I don't know. And I don't know much about your language or your perspective. Just like you don't know at all about the world I live in. I do know some. How? You're showing me right now. I've never seen a place before. It's a simple space that I never thought I would explore. I can hear the breath of the Matsu trees. I can feel the passing of a summer breeze. The lotus flowers help me feel the flow of time. They harmonize with nature. So together we are in our prime. See, 
serenity and delight. They enhance the air and make my heart fly high. It is a surprise, serenity and delight. They are for my soul, not just for my eye. What a beautified isn't buildings or gardens, but the quality. My honest voice, free from lies. He's always looking somewhere far away. When I decorate the skyline, what will she say? But for the moment, we'll bathe in the light of the moon. Our spirits fly. Don't let this magic fade away too soon. look like. How about you tell me? Okay. Okay, let me think. No, 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 don't tell me now. <laughs> I want you to explore it with me. But I'm going to Kobe to get married. Anataka Sukates. Tokyo today. Tokyo? I ignored a previous offer to lecture at the University of Tokyo, but now I think it's not a bad idea. I have all. something to show you. Oh, here. This is the world I want to build. Serenity and delight. That's my motto. I just, I don't want to just build a building. I want to bring meaning into people's lives. You've made up your mind? Yes. You're no longer a boy with an anxious look. You no longer hide behind your book because you found something to show. So I need you to know. Just
justice you have one dominant hand you can only grab one dream at a time you must stand for just one dream with, with that hand you'll change the color scheme you see past your nose but you've got to choose just one hand and just one dream. Take this. What is this? Your next assignment. This is... They actually offered me the job, but... It looks like an easy blueprint copying job. Any idiot with half a brain could do it, so I guess you can handle it. Be sure to tell Mr. Shreve that I sent you, but you have to go there soon. Like, tomorrow. Tomorrow? But, but this is a ticket Don't to... think of this as a handout. After your first big commission, you owe me a prime rib steak dinner at the Plaza Hotel in New York City. Mr. Theo, but I'm planning to stay... Minoru-san! Listen, I talked to Otosama. I told him I'm not going to Kobe to get married. Then what did he say? It doesn't matter because I decided not to go back home. I'm no longer a girl who is shy and naive. I no longer hide behind my sleeve. Now I dream to speak my voice. He should let me make my choice. Since I have one to me and hand, I will use it to grab one dream for myself. Just one dream Can you hold my hand And change the color scheme I'm ready to grow And I think I know Cause in my hand Is my one true dream A ticket falls on the ground from Minoru's hand And Toki picks it up Ticket to New York City. I gave it to him. Do you notice know that? Toki. Look at my first design. It's the root of my towers. I drew the lines and arches from what I love. I found a new sense of beauty through the moonlit night we shared. Toku, Toki, I'm going to New York and I'm sorry that I'm leaving. Congratulations, I'm also leaving. I'm going to Tokyo to go to school. Someday I'll invite you to that scraper in the skyline. To my new garden. I will
swapping around. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on, Jeff. Wouldn't even know. We killed it. Have you studied Jeff? You just faked it really well. I sing a lot in town. Okay. It's really simple. Covered up. That's what I said. My map comes in with that soul. But I covered it. You did good. Squeeze it. Is the top row okay? No, you guys. The top row is fine. You guys on the end were standing over here uh, on either oh, side. Oh, sorry. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like trying to see what was going on because we're like, oh, I know. I was like interacting with my nephew who was two people away. <laughs> I'm like, 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 I've got this stage direction right after, and I've got the stage direction. The mayor. <laughs> I also have the urge to Thank <laughs> you. 
I guess. I, oh, so I checked with Elise. You can buy that though. But I was gonna say, did you have a? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. They, they, they used to have a whole tower of snacks, but like people just went away. Yeah. We rent this space a lot. Fair enough. But, yeah, she said, I'm gonna grab a water, or diet coke, or coffee. Today. Just one dollar. Okay. And they have that in the freezer. Yeah. What? Cool. All right. Thank you. Have fun in the back. <laughs> have fun in the front. Thanks. <laughs> New York, 1963. The sound of hustle, bustle, and construction. Look! The Port Authority picked the architect for the World Trade Center! What comes next in new New York and the city keeps on changing? Who can we fit in new New York? It's smelly, but it's growing. The towers are multiplying. Into the sky they're flying. There is nothing we can't do. That's our new New York. No, no, it's all wrong. Switch the Lambert Airport to McGregor. It needs to be chronological. That means put the World Fair over there and put this front and center. Okay, that looks great. Look, I'm here in New New York. Each window's always shining. What comes next in New New York? Let's see what I'm designing. My spirit is flying higher. I'll set their hearts on fire. The city saves a seat for me. I'll make my new New York. Mr. Yamasaki, congratulations. You've been picked. Do you think you can do it? Absolutely. I'm more than qualified, and I'm finally receiving proper recognition for my efforts throughout the past 30 years. You started your career right in New York City back in 33. What comes next in New New York? Yes, I joined Shrave, Lamb, and Harmon and designed houses, an airport, and the Samson Naval Training Base. You mean to tell me they let a Japanese man work during the war? I'm American. And my boss didn't care. All they cared about was that I had the skills. As a spy. <laughs> what do we need for new New York? So your masterpieces are the McGregor Memorial Center in Detroit and the World's Fair Pacific Science Center in Seattle. Those are my favorites. And let me remind you that my client here in New York, the Port Authority, loves them too. Hmm. But the critics are calling your decorations you're a decorator, not an architect. Some say your lacy, frilly designs will never be right for the skyline of Manhattan. If that's true, then why was I picked? Clearly, the critics have no idea what they're talking about. Does he deserve our new New York? Look, here's a headline. A 5'5 man is leading the biggest project in human history. Who told you my height? Even I didn't know that. can really be What comes next in New New York In the city we're investing How can a small man change New York? We're not judging 
just suggesting. Even though we respect him, the Big Apple didn't expect him. We don't pretend to be picky, but, but he's just a little bit tricky. The city is too good for him. Don't mess up, new. You'll see. Norm is wiping down the coffee machine. Full-time employees enter the office. A couple of them grab a few copies of Time magazine on the table by the entrance. If he had the time to model for the cover, why is he taking so long to get us the revised design? Oh, listen to this. Every time he faced prejudice, his parents would tell him the thing over and over, shikataganai, which means it is what it is. <laughs> hey, have you ever felt any of this it is what it is attitude from him? Hey, keep it down or they're going to call us racist. Here are the materials for today's meeting. Norm, we forgot to tell you, the meeting's canceled. Could you let the others know? Yes, sir. Oh, Norm, what did I say about the coffee? It tastes like shit. Can you go buy a different bag? I, I'm so sorry. I'll, I'll do it on my lunch. How is the Trade Center project going? Uh, we, we've already confirmed the venue for the press conference. We finally organized the schedule with the secretary at the mayor's house. The venue is confirmed and the invitations have all gone out. How about the design? We have been pushing Mr. Yamasaki a lot, but he's ignoring our budget and spatial requirements. I'm asking, have you gotten the finished design from him? Uh, Mr. Hawkins, I'm sorry, but I really don't think Mr. Yamasaki is the right guy. What are you talking about? He's the best. It's your fault that you guys haven't taken advantage of working with him. Ah, Nick. It's Norm, sir. Norm, I want you to work on the designs with Mr. Yamasaki. Me? You know how to handle Yama better than anyone here. Well, what do you mean, sir? I've never even met him before. Don't be so afraid. You'll see. Here, use this one. What's this? I've added some essence to his design that was missing. What a wonderful improvement. Yeah, it's like a completely different design. Norm, all you have to do is get Yama to sign off on it. Nothing else. Sign off? I'm worried he'll be angry now that we've changed his design. Think of it more like a collaboration between his pretty little design and our big vision. We inspire each other. Don't you think Mr. Yamasaki would sooner listen to you than me? I'm just a junior assistant. No, I disagree. To be honest, I always wish everyone here would work as hard as you do. You're too good to be just a temp. Do you really think that? <laughs> Actually, I was a temp when I first started here. I know exactly how you feel. You're wanting to move up the ladder? Want to be the first one in, the last one out, crossing all the T's, dotting all the I's. But now you're senior vice president. And I'm planning to run for the next mayoral election. How did you get there? I was a fool, but I learned in school. Humans are divided into those who use and those who are used. I was the latter, that much is true. It is what it is, it's not worth the fight. That was my rule. So I could make my life all right. But I didn't even go to college. You're not a fool, so you must be cool. I know that they're a good for nothing rude bunch. It's unfair, and they don't care how much you work while they enjoy a steak lunch. But it is what it is, it's not cool to fight against the rules. So I'm gonna make my life all right. But I, but I, you'll be the pride of your family. You'll wear a black suit and lace up your shoes. Mom will go to market showing around my company bag. Dad will wipe the windows to hang up an American flag. I'll never go back to that kitchen in Chinatown. No, I won't be a fool. This will be my fuel. Now that selfish, stubborn genius makes a big mess. Follow the rule. Or I will be cruel Don't stand in the way of my success 
Now the boss trusts me, it's black and white, he'll promote me soon. I'm making life better than just alright. I'll make my life perfect! In Minoru's private room, there are unfinished Twin Towers models. Claire, why did you add floors to this design? The Port Authority requires more floor space. I've already told them I will not design such an awkwardly tall skyscraper. They have to change. We're not doing that. They said it's non-negotiable. You even changed the materials of the windows? We were way over budget. Besides, how will we ever find that much stainless steel? Well, at the competition, which I won, by the way, they loved the stainless steel, silver against the blue sky, so they <coughs> need to fix their budget. So I frankly don't care how. You know what it takes the blueprint that Claire was holding and rips it to shreds. No! You're not ready yet to help us on the designs. Go back to the admin desk. But shouldn't we listen to our client? Don't we have a responsibility to them? Who are you working for? You, Dad. Then get the door. Sorry to interrupt, Mr. Yamasaki. I'm Norm from the Port Authority. I'm here on behalf of Mr. Hawkins. Thanks for coming. I just need to talk to your boss. Uh, would you mind if we spoke privately? Of course. My assistant has told me that your office is asking us to change my design. Is that true? <laughs> well, Mr. Yamasaki, as you already know, we're holding a big press conference next month about the Trade Center. We have to confirm the final design as soon as possible, like right now. If I've learned anything from, I don't know, designing dozens of buildings around the world, there is nothing worse than compromising a design for the sake of a schedule. But even the mayor will be at the conference. Have you even ever thought about the life of the towers? It's just concrete. They don't, they don't have life. The World Trade Center will dominate the city for the next century, maybe even longer. A week or a month's delay is a minor thing compared to the life of the towers. The mayor will understand if he loves New York City enough. We and the mayor are also considering the budget as well. You know, taxpayer dollars. A one-day delay in opening costs us a million dollars. A ten-day delay costs us ten million dollars. I'll do my best. And, and the best thing about this, Mr. Yamasaki, is you don't need to do anything but sign right here. Norm hands the blueprint to Minoru. For what? For this final design. <laughs> You want me to sign off on this cheap knockoff of the Empire State Building? This is the worst proposal I've ever seen in my entire career. That's what we want. What the city wants. How can you judge what makes a beautiful plan? You're arrogant, naive, while you work for the man. I'm designing a monument for the skyline, not this lifeless container for thousands of people. I know what this city wants A tower like a flower that beautifies this landscape around Don't show power with a tower Just harmonize the sky with the ground That's my line in the sand We aren't building your condo You're foolish, not funny We're living in a world of politics and money and now New York must become the financial capital of the world. We're in an era of big dreams. The world awaits a great plan. We know what this city wants. A tower with power is superior in stature and height. A tower's not a flower, not delicate. It shows our might. That's our line in the sand. <laughs> Look at this perfect tower. I won't. Don't waste one more hour. Please leave. Listen to what I say, or this skyline will decay. That's enough. I must listen to my soul. Oh, please. My career is on the line. I must leave and under control. Don't send me to an architect's head. This artsy fartsy jerk makes me want to get. 
what this city wants A tower like a flower It's a good bigger It's lantern and ride Don't show a power Not a power Not tell the case The shows are mine That's my line in the sand That's my line in the sand That's my line in the sand. It's my way or the highway. Dad, are you okay? I need to talk to Hawkins. Excuse me? I am quitting. What are you talking about? Call them and tell them I'm not doing it. This is fraud. Wait, Dad, please calm down. Architects have every right to refuse a stupid client who won't listen to a single word we have to say. Send them an invoice for the work so far. We're done. But what about the workers? Huh? Don't, uh, you've hired 30 of the most brilliant minds around the world. This is everyone's future now. But my decision is- Don't you know what it means for an immigrant to lose their job? Oh, you're such a people pleaser. This is why your designs aren't strong enough. If you don't focus more on your goal, you can forget about taking over my firm. So I'll quit. What? I'm serious. <laughs> don't be foolish, Claire. You don't know how lucky you are to be hired by an architecture firm. Only now there's no war, no internment camps, and your father owns his big architecture firm. It's a much better life than I had. What do you mean a better life? There's no choice of what I do and what I create. Every day you yell at me for no reason, and I've gotten a new mother, what, three times? Is this the better life that you're referring to? Yes! Look at me. You have a father who is valued regardless of his race. You should be proud. You haven't been able to make a new design in three months. The only thing you have done is yell at everyone else's designs. Go to your desk. <laughs> what? That's what I've learned from you. You're a remarkable architect. Your employees and I, we're all just your slaves. Until you're satisfied, I'll just have to suffer and listen to you. I mean, I guess this is a better way of life than the salmon cannery you can't stop talking about, but that's enough. I'm no longer accepting the idea of Shikata Ganai just because I'm your daughter. Claire! Claire slams the door and leaves. Minoru sighs and looks at the incomplete twin tower miniatures, and then looks at the design with Norm that he, he has left behind. Hi, it's Yama. Norm just left here. When he gets back to your office, could you give him a message? The next morning, the Port Authority office. Norm is showing Mr. Hawkins the design bearing Minoru's signature. Wonderful. Wonderful job, Nick. I'm Norm. Glad to be of assistance. One more thing. Could you bring this to Yama? Yeah, sure thing. What's this? It's a purchase order for the miniature models. The mayor wants to see how it looks with the other skyscrapers. You want me to ask Mr. Yamasaki to make a model of the new design? I remember he has a great team of engineers. This will be your final task, and I'm sorry it's such a cinch. M my final task? Please give my best to Yama. Mr. Hawkins, you said my final task. Am I moving to a different department? Your temp assignment ends next week, right? Yes, but you said... Th it is what it is, Norm. We made up our mind to cut any and all unnecessary expenses. I don't want the citizens thinking we're wasting their taxes or anything. <laughs> don't worry. There are plenty of other jobs out there. For instance, you might consider checking out Chinatown. Any thoughts, Norm? No, oh, nothing. <clears throat> Mr. Hawkins, Senator Morgan is ready to see you. Be right there. It is what it is. It's not cool to fight against their rules. I'm gonna make my life. Night. Yamasaki and Associates Office. The last one to leave. Claire is locking a window. She opens the exit door and finds Norm standing at the threshold. Whoa! I'm, I'm sorry to scare you. I came to meet Mr. Yamasaki. Then why didn't you knock? I was lost in thought. Oh, I know it's tough work for both of us. Do you want to come in? Yes, thanks. I'm Claire. Everyone's gone home for the day. Uh, that's too bad. I wanted to bring Mr. Yamasaki this purchase order. He will be back here tomorrow around, uh, he will be back here tonight around nine, as is his custom. If you prefer, you can wait for him in the meeting room over there. Sounds good. 
Thank you for letting me know. Would you like a coffee? Uh, you can use these coffee beans if you like. I love this brand. Really? She... Actually, it's my mom's favorite. She has good taste in coffee beans. <laughs> I'll bring it to you when it's ready. Excuse me, is someone here? Excuse me. Good evening. I can't believe it. Excuse me, the MoMA design store is in the next building. I've come here to meet Minoru-san. My father? You're his daughter. I'm Toki Izumi. It's so nice to meet you. I'm Claire. Are you his new girlfriend? No, not at all. I'm an old friend of Minoru-san. I'm a publisher and architecture journalist in Tokyo. I'm making this magazine all by myself. So beautiful. I'm glad that you like them. Are there any stores in New York where I can buy your magazines? Are fortunately, my art is popular as time. But I'm happy to send you some. So, would you mind getting me an interview with Minoru-san? Did you come all the way from Japan just to interview my father? Correct. For the final issue of my publication, I want to interview someone who's very special to me. Why are you going to stop publishing such a beautiful magazine? Everyone will miss it. That's a good question, Claire. There are several reasons I have to stop. I wish it wasn't the case, but one of the reasons is I'm a woman. Is it unusual for women to work in Japan too? Especially in the architecture industry, I show up with a pen and paper, but they expect me to bring a cup of tea. I'm lucky if they even listen to me for two minutes. But your magazines, none of the architecture books I read in college showed me such unique architecture. I can't read Japanese, but I can feel your passion and professionalism from the pictures and the layout. I mean, you even have blueprints and you analyze them in great detail. You remind me of your father 30 years ago. Really? I remember his eyes, how his eyes would shine so brightly when he would read his photo book. And now he's the lead architect of the World Trade Center project. I have to spread the word in Japan about his architecture and his achievements. Was he already this selfish and stubborn when you met him 30 years ago? <laughs> yes, he was very confident even though he hadn't designed anything yet. Some famous architect told him, you're just not ready yet. But soon after, he started designing my house, and he taught me that I should follow my heart. Follow your heart? Don't make yourself steely. Just live your life freely. Don't be scared to let your heart beat. Make your courage guide your feet. <laughs> Oh my god, my dad sings this when he's drunk while dancing, right? Point your toes, touch the floor, make a sound, then give them more. Take off your shoes, there's no time to lose. You find your way if you take your step. Come on, Claire. So we'll dance and let them stare at my steps. I don't care. the coffee. <laughs> I'm so glad to meet you again and meet your daughter. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy to see you again too. How have you been? How's everything? Your family, your career, your life? I'm doing well. Look, here's my business card. <laughs> Publisher and architecture journalist. <clears throat> wow, you've made your dream come true. And you made your extraordinary dream come true. Congratulations, Minoru-san. Well, thank you. Oh, are you still Miss Izumi, if I may ask? Don't ask. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> My husband died during the war, and I never married again after that. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. How about you? How is your life? Oh, has the interview started now? 
I have to be very careful with journalists. <clears throat> Mr. Yamasaki, <laughs> is it true that you asked a Japanese girl to break off her engagement and elope with you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh, is this different coffee? Mr. Cohen brought it. Oh. He was here? Uh, actually, he's, in, he's waiting for you in the meeting room to give you a purchase order. Purchase order? I guess they want a model of the new design. Oh, for the new World Trade Center. Toki, I'm sorry, but I need to get back to my work. Take your time, Dad. I'll take care of Mr. Cohen. <laughs> I came to see you because, as you know, you changed my life. I did? We never saw each other after I left Japan. I know all that you've done, what you have yet to create, and how much you believe in yourself. That has always pushed me forward, even though we never saw each other again, until now. I want to write about your journey how you're exploring the concept of serenity and delight from Kyoto to the McGregor and all the way to the World Trade Center. Sounds interesting, but I have to catch up on some work tonight. Yes, sure, of course. I'm sorry. But uh, can I take some photos around your office before I leave? Toki wanders around quickly, then finds the Twin Towers design, which is covered by sheets. Oh my god, is this going to be the world race? Don't touch it! I'm so sorry. I'm busy. I'll have my assistant contact you later. Sure. Are you okay, Minoru-san? It was nice to meet you again. Good night, Toki. Maybe you need an omamori. Toki hands Minoru a sample of her magazine. Omamori? I don't need that anymore. You built this out of my design? Yes. I went to Tokyo, but I couldn't find a job after the war. So I returned to Kyoto and decided to do something meaningful to me. When devastation came, it broke my heart.
at the press conference. Hawkins and the mayor are on stage giving a speech. Mr. Rockefeller, thank you for the warm welcome. And now is the moment you've all been waiting for. I am pleased to announce the design of the World Trade Center. Excuse me, Mr. Hawkins. It's not your turn, get off. With all due respect, I'm going to present this design. <laughs> Sorry for the interruption, a staff member of mine is misunderstanding the order of events. But that's not your staff member, that's your lead guy, Yamasaki. Sir, he's not supposed to present anything. Why not? Here he is on the front page of Time, he's the talk of the town, right? A large round of applause erupts. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I was 21 years old when I decided to become an architect. It all started with an encounter with one man. I was confident enough to show him a large number of sketches of skyscrapers. He told me I wasn't ready yet. More than 30 years have passed. I can say I'm finally ready now. The order takes the clock. The model appears and the spotlight comes on. <gasps> Welcome to the world's tallest skyscrapers. Designed with aesthetic I call serenity and delight. These twin towers have 110 floors and there's an observation deck at the top. When you're tired of the city, you can sit down on the bench and relax in the plaza between the towers. And when you gaze up from the entrance, you'll see silver roads leading you right to the sun. You'll feel the breeze. You'll bathe in the rays of sunshine. And best of all, you'll be at one with this skyline of Manhattan. What the hell? Bravo! <laughs> Mr. Yamasaki, you're the true artist here. New York City needs you. Whatever you need to complete these towers, you let me know. My pleasure, sir. Could uh, I get your autograph on this Time magazine? <laughs> My wife would be so happy. I would love to, sir. The press conference is over. Please leave the room as uh, soon as possible. Sir, the exit is this way. The staff will extort you downstairs. Please come join us for dinner next time at my condo. I'd love to hear more about your architecture. Hawkins leads the mayor to the exit of the conference room. Others follow them. After the mayor and the audience leave, Hawkins closes the door. Mr. Hawkins, thank you for letting me give the presentation. I can tell the mayor loved it. I'm going to change the city forever. You're fired. <laughs> Excuse me? You're not needed anymore. Why not? Did you not hear the thunderous applause? You didn't fulfill your responsibility. I designed the tallest building in the world. I followed all of your requirements about budget and floor space, elevator shafts. Then what more do you want? I wish my subordinates were smart enough to control you. Norm! Yes, sir? You've got I'll one last chance. Norm a sledgehammer. One last chance. For what? I need an assistant who will exactly follow my directions without any explanation. Can you do it? No! I want to see his skyscrapers come to life. You fool. You're the fool. I'm reporting you to the board about what you've done. <laughs> so you think you've beaten me? A proud artist defeating the boss of a huge organization now let me tell you why the board allowed me to hire you. It wasn't because of your lovely buildings or your heartwarming speech at your interview. No, we love your attitude about working so diligently at the lowest cost possible. We didn't need talent. We didn't need intelligence and we definitely didn't need passion. We needed someone who would do exactly as we said. If you don't follow our rules, you're nobody. It is what it is. No, it's not. Now I'm stepping in sunlight, beautifying the skyline. No one believed it would come true. There's a roaring fire inside my design. We're making America. It's time to build a new history. Just no one believed it would come true. There's a roaring fire inside my design. Look, the sky is unlimited. 
It's time to build it a new history. Ten years later, 1973, the construction of the Twin Towers is complete. In the background is the iconic exterior and lobby arches. Seated with a pad and paper in the plaza between the towers is Toki, now 58, jotting down notes for an upcoming article. So that's how the Twin Towers got built. Did they become the beautiful symbol of New York City he hoped for? Let's see a review from Ada Lewis Haxtable the foremost expert and critic of architecture in the United States. They are big buildings, but they are not great architecture. The Trade Center Towers could be the start of a new skyscraper age, or the biggest tombstones in the world. Hmm. I'd better leave that last part out. Now, whatever happened to that architect? Um, excuse me, could we get a picture? Sure. She meant a picture of just us. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> I took it from the perfect angle. You've got the towers and the sky standing beautifully in the background right behind you. Yes, <laughs> yeah! My pleasure. Your English is pretty good. Where did you study? <laughs> well, I... Yeah. Hey, boss, what are you doing? Dad, come here now or you'll miss the big group shot. <laughs> so, how is the legendary architect? Welcome to my skyline. Greater than my true 
60s pushes Toki, now in her late 90s, in a wheelchair. Toki holds a lotus flower. Claire helps Toki out of her chair and guides her to the site. Toki then places the lotus flower on the ground where the twin towers once stood strong and tall. The sun is slowly rising. In the distance stands Minoru. Minoru, Toki, and Claire then turn their eyes upward to the beautiful, endless skyline above. Yeah, I don't talk to them because I'm so 